beauty fam welcome back to mickey car beauty i'm mickey and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty and today i want to do a will i buy it yes or no and it's been a while since i've done these because i've been on and off sick for the past month and before that i was traveling for vacation and work and i'm just my schedule is off so will i buy it yes or no or maybe so or meh so i'm gonna move over here so we can put up the products here so i will tag the instagram accounts that I'm using here all here <laughs> so thank you to them and then I will just verbally uh, credit them as well so I'm on WZ Beauties um, and they're so great they're based in Asia and I was on the fence about this Dior summer makeup collection and I actually was like I don't know but the orange quad I wasn't into but the blue one with the orange tones like it was kind of speaking to me and then I saw the release of that um special set with all of the nail polish plus eden rock so when i saw that i broke down and got that i think it's because all of those nail polishes plus that quad were packaged together is why i wanted to get it so i'm going to review that this week so make sure to subscribe below if you want to see that review and then you can also subscribe because then you can see what makeup look i have on my face today I do love Dior nail polish. I actually like them more than Chanel. I, so I was on the fence about this collection, but I knew I wanted at least the nail polish. So I got the nail polish and then I saw the set and I saw that all the other nail polishes and I got it. So I'm going to have a backup of the blue and maybe I'll just give the other one away as a, for a friend. But this one has been so great. I love it. And I actually am wearing two other colors from the collection. This is on this hand is the bronze one and this is the white one. So check out below and make sure to subscribe to my channel and then you'll see that review. Okay, so Tom then, Ford has eye color quads and they're all very warm. Maybe except for one. Um, I'm seeing um, Golden Hour, Peachy Dawn, Hazy Sensuality. And the only one I'm interested in is Hazy Sensuality, but I feel like I have those colors in my collection already. Like the shimmers on top can be duped. The pink I have with either Byredo or Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath. And the brown's a brown. So there's no way I'm paying $90 for, um, are these the wet dry formula? I think so, but get, I, the, listen, listen, beauty fam, you know me, I love luxury beauty. These inflation prices and these luxury houses are kind of off like the rocker. I don't want to buy things that are $90 anymore. I think it's ridiculous. So I'm really pausing on Tom Ford because I don't feel like, I don't know who the creative director is anymore. Like I know that Tom Ford sold it recently, I think maybe to be with his kid. I don't know. I had read something that his partner had passed away. Anyway, he sold Tom Ford. It doesn't, it belongs to, I think, Estee Lauder now. I don't know who's at the head of Tom Ford. All I know is that I used to love Tom Ford Ride or Die back in 2018, 19. And then suddenly something happened with inconsistency on the releases. Like I feel like they, he's been, or they, Tom Ford has been remixing a lot of like the pre-released, like one or two color, um, quads or, or colors and he just remixes them in a palette and then calls it something new and that really irks me because it's $90 so do the math 45 90 it's like 20 some dollars for each of those squares and a $90 palette but it's actually more because of tax so either way some people don't worry about that because luxury beauty is luxury and that's their thing they'll like go ahead and buy whatever because money is not an object for them or they just don't care it's like their thing or it's their job right trying to be more discerning as a consumer and if i'm being honest these two quads um golden hour and peach dawn like i have those colors already in my collection i have the bronze palette which i hardly ever touch and a lot of those colors are very similar so so i'm gonna pass on that wz beauty had posted uh the second yayoi kasama times louis vuitton drop and I'm still coveting <laughs> these pieces. I'm gonna show you a little um, pochette that is for sale. I have no idea how much it is, but I want it. I'm either gonna get one of these or the makeup bag because I love Kusama. They're one of my favorite artists of this, <clears throat> this recent century, like she's still living. I think she's amazing. If you ever get to see her artwork or her exhibit, you must go see her exhibit. Um, the, infinite, the Infinite Mirrors rooms, blew my mind. It's like the best art I've seen in a, a very long time. 
Um, and she, she's pretty much like rock star status. Like I had to wait in line, I think about like six in the morning to get tickets to, for, to view that exhibit. And I, I'd do it again because her artwork is amazing. Well, moving on, as some of you know, I did get the pre-summer Suku and summer collection for Suku. So I'll link those videos below. Um, Chanel LeBeige is coming out with, oh, I see. Um, that oil that, I feel like these are repromotes again, but in different sizes. Yeah, that's what's, ha what's happening. So there might be two new Coco flashes. I have enough lipstick, so x -nay on that. They have the Le Beige Illuminating Oil Face, Body, and Hair. No. And then they have travel sizes and a reformulation of the bronzer. I So I'm going to get the deep, the tan, the tan deep bronze, $3.95. I tried this a year and a half ago, probably two years, um, when they reformulated it with coconut oil. And I hated it because the coconut oil broke me up. But no, moreover... Like I would put the, um, and I think the color at that time was tan medium bronze. I would put the bronzer on and it would disappear. It was like the weirdest thing. So I'm going to try it again because it's a new formula. They have a deeper shade. So maybe that was part of the pro problem. Maybe it was the formula, but I'm going to try it 395. So Lale tan deep bronze and then review that for you. What's not in this picture. I had seen it somewhere else is that they came out with, they're going to come out with a glowing cream primer and I saw a review of a youtuber and it looked beautiful on her and it reminds me of like the neutral Danessa Myricks blurring balm powder it's like a neutral like base just to even out the skin tone and just like make it beautiful I want to try that because I'm a sucker for anything making the complexion like more beautiful so I'm gonna try okay, the Tom Ford Soleil summer 2023 collection Okay, I don't mean to be mean. You know I love Tom Ford on this channel, but lately he's just not been, like, the company, I don't know what's going on. So the packaging, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So they have two highlighters. One's like a bronze and one's a gold. People, these are $90. I don't, I'm not a huge highlighter person, but $90, $90. When did we get to, to the point where we're paying $90 for highlighters? So I'm not a big highlighter person. And the $90, just no. Uh, the quads themselves are $90 the last time I checked. So there's two quads, Tropical Dust and Island Haze. These, these do not look like the special formula. I don't even know. Maybe let me know if you know this is like the special cream reformulated formula. Um, Tropical Dusk is too um, warm tone for me. I have, again, <laughs> I'm going to just leave this out because we're getting to that summer season where everyone's like, doing warm peachy golds like I have this palette and I hardly reach for it so no um the island haze looks interesting it looks like again it looks like a Natasha Denona quad like it's got pink uh, a brown so here's yeah so this is a pink right here a pink and it's got a bronze which is this one right here and then it's got a matte and then what else it's got like a darker um like a like a mat so there, there's your <laughs> there's your island haze right there yeah it's not the same it's not it's not the same I know and I'm no I'm joking beauty fan but like I'm just trying to like I'm trying to talk you off the ledge of spending $90 on a quad that you really don't need when you can actually dupe in your collection and maybe you don't have as much makeup as I do but I got a lot and like this is I got it I gotta rein it in I have these Soleil de Fure Spark Lip Balm. Um, <laughs> no. I already read that it's like an overlay spray and then there's glitter. It's just, it's just not going to happen. I'm not getting that. Also, I have too much lipstick. So passing on that entire collection. Gucci New Illuminator. Nope. I'm going to pass on that. I already have too many illuminators in my collection. Hermes it has new blushes out. They're a silky blush powder. Um, the balm I'm going to pass pass on. I don't need more balms, but these look really light to me. Um, the only one I'd be interested in is the Rose Cuvre 58, and the rest look way too light for me. Those would be like $90 highlighters. Again, the $90 highlighters. I <laughs> just don't understand. Let's talk uh, about the reformulation of the Dior Quints. Quint. I've already seen some reviews, and... I don't know what's going on with Dior. I have reviews of the reformulated foundations. Not a fan. 
And I just, I just want Dior to stop reformulating. Like, I love that they're trying to be responsible and um, not put talc in their products, but it's at the expense of the quality going down. So I feel a certain type of way about it. I definitely feel like I am probably not interested in newer quince, although I think the Eden Rock might be the new formula. I'll, I'll test that out. But it's looking like the mattes are pretty patchy and the shimmers are just not as impactful. And that's why I love the reformulation of these quince back in, is it 2018, 19? They turned it around with that new reformulation and they're gonna hear feedback from their consumers either through these reviews or they're buying powder power. I just don't know if people are going to buy these quince as often now since the quality, in my opinion, seems to have gone down. So that's okay. You know what? Dior is going to be do Dior. These luxury houses are going to do themselves. And in a way, I'm like, I just going to be glass half full kind of lady. Like, great. So maybe like less money like spent and more in my pocketbook. Or I'll just divert my funds to, you know, Lisa Eldridge or Byredo or Independent. On Dior. They have two new blushes coming out. A berry and a rosewood. Oh, there's a mahogany. Right. There's one that's like more of like a bronzer. I think these are great. I think these are geared towards people with medium deep complected uh, beauties, which is beautiful finally because for years all I had was like that hot pink and the coral. The coral and it's never like uh, the, the cover does not match the actual color. It always <laughs> makes me laugh. Okay, so that is the coral color. I love it. Um, I don't think it's anything like that fantastic. If I'm gonna say like what are my favorite blushes that's better than that. I would say, um, I actually think the Suku formula, even the pure color blush formula is better than this. I just think people love that it's the Dior house and the engraving or the, what do you call it? The embossing. But I will pick up probably <clears throat> at least, I'll probably pick up the Rosewood. Oh, they're supposed to be released at Sephora soon. Okay, so I think I will pick up a Rosewood and Cherry, maybe Mahogany. Let me know if you want me to pick up any of these particular colors. Um, it's hard for me okay. to figure out. Okay. And then we're back to Dior, the regular blush formula, but they reformulated it. So again, Dior, I need to stop with the reformulation. Listen, I'm going to let you know now. I kind of panic bought again. So with Dior reformulating their quints and Dior reformulating their blushes, I'm pretty sure if I were a betting woman, like they're going to reformulate their mono colors. So I panic bought the last two Dior quints that I had been hemming and hawing for years. So I picked up two, two and what was the other one? I can't remember. It was two purple quads or quince. And then I've been hemming and hawing about the beige mitza. Um, so I got that one mono color because I feel like they're going to reformulate those two. And this is my favorite, one of my favorite Dior blushes or actually blushes in my entire collection. This is Charnel and for a medium complected beauty, it's just oh God, it's such a beautiful and there's like a luminosity. This is like a luminous matte blush. I love it. This is like an all year round kind of blush, but it looks really beautiful in the fall. Okay, and then I'm moving over to Chic Profile, Tavia's page. Love Tavia. Hey Tavia, a lot of you know her on um, in the beauty space. The YSL, like she's been featuring the YSL Couture Mini Clutch palettes. Um, and you can actually go on her, they're only available in Europe at this point you can use her shopping services. I have never done that, that these are not really interesting colors. These are, to me, colors that have come out already. They're kind of boring to me, although the packaging is so beautiful. Like, I don't own any YSL products. Like, I would love to have a clutch or a little bag one day. So that's what that YSL is patterned off of. So the only two that I'm interested in is this cool one. Uh, it has like silver, gold, black, and peach. But that peach is not going to show up on me. Okay, I need to talk myself off the ledge. So no on that. And then the only one that really caught my eye was this green one. Y'all know I'm a sucker for green. So there's a green, light blue, blue, and it looks like, what does it say? Oh, it's a deep green. Mm. Okay, so I think I might try. I'm going to try this formula and see when it comes stateside. And then it's probably going to be $60 to $90 when it comes U.S. to stateside. Gucci has new blushes. So there's a true pink, which looks like the equivalent of the, the pink from this, the re release, like the pink version. This is coral. Uh, true pink, a soft red, and intense plum. I own three Gucci blushes already, and I love them. Look at this packaging. It's so luxe. 
I love it. I have um, Warm Berry, Rosy Beige, and Bright Coral. Again, I have my Suku blushes sitting over there. So those are my favorite formula. And then the Gucci Luminous Matte is my second favorite. So I think I would only get these if there's a sale. Uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty has come out with these contour steeluses. Um, <laughs> no. Victoria Beckham is quite pricey. And I think it's like one of those trendy, luxury, like quiet beauty, whatever products. I find like her products are hit or miss. I just don't know if it's worth it. People either love or hate her eyeliners. And because I have oily lids and hooded lids, I don't like her eyeliners. They just didn't work for me. But for other people, I know they love them. And so I'm, I'm not like needing contour right now. I have like way too much contour and bronzer cream products. So I'm going to pass on that. Hourglass coming out with two new sculpt and set blush glow palettes. I don't do Hourglass on my channel because their formula breaks me out. I think it's a beautiful product. If you have not tried Hourglass, they are an original formula that I have not seen in any product on the market. They just, their blushes, their highlights, their bronzers, luminous, beautiful. Try it if you want one day. Um, just for me, they have sulfur, bismuth. That's what it is. And it gives me acne. Okay, there's, uh, I'm at Amit Beauty Talk. Uh, Charlotte Bill Tilbury is a new Glowgasm face palette for summer 2023. It's actually a release from 2019, 18. I never picked it up then. Uh, this is definitely a, a face palette that's geared towards medium and tan skin. And that's the only reason I'm getting it. I'm not big on face palettes, but I'm interested to try it. I generally don't like glowy blushes because it kind of show texture. I like luminous blushes. This is as glowy as I get. But I'm curious to try because people love Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have a lot of her products, but I'm willing to try it. And I got the, um, what else is she releasing? Uh, she's releasing the Pink Gasm Sunset Blusher in that horrible tube. Um, <laughs> just hate that tube. I hate that tube so much. I had the highlighter in the tube. The highlighter was fine. I just, honestly, I hope I don't gross you out. But it just feels like, to me, putting that sponge on my face is like, taking my sponge and my sink and putting it on my face like it's just the bacteria it just grosses me out so for the sake of the first time trying it I'll do it once but I have plans on what I'm going to do is actually I've seen other people do this they take the sponge out and then they will just put it on their makeup palette and then you know dab it and that's kind of like when I, I just don't like that that brush it just it seems really unsanitary doing that soon oh here it's it is I'm at beauty talks so she showed the new Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream in Rosy Beige. <clears throat> Here it is. Limited Edition Summer 2023. It's a cream gel makeup product that evens out and illuminates the complexion with a subtly rosy veil. So when I saw this, it reminds me a little bit of what I saw Danessa Myricks trying to do with a blurring balm powder with the universal color. But the difference is, is that it's supposed to be um, illuminating too. So it's kind of like you can wear it by itself or use it as a primer. Um, it says it's a lightweight formula to easily blend and leave skin looking smooth, even and luminous. Okay, so I'm definitely going to try that product. Okay, that's it, beauty fam. That's it for Will I Buy It? Uh, my voice is starting to go, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the all button below. And then if you enjoy the con uh, content, then like and comment below. I'd appreciate the engagement. And as always, please be very kind with yourself and others and just be you. And let me know if there's any beauty products you're looking at buying in the next couple months. Um, meanwhile, take good care of yourself. Bye.